Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. Flash fill can be a real time saver when entering or manipulating list based data. And it's a feature that despite having been part of Excel for almost 10 years, isn't known to that many users. In this video, I'll show you how it works. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Here, I've been asked to combine together the first name and surname of each person and put it into column D. And whilst there are several ways to do this, you could use concat or concatenate or even Power Query. The quickest way to do it is actually to use Flash Fill. So I start by typing an example of what I want. In this case, I want to combine Susan and Wise. So that's what I'll type and enter it in. Then come down to D3 and type the M of Melissa. And Excel has worked out, or at least it thinks it knows what I'm trying to do. So it fills in the other cells initially in light grey. Now, if I don't want it to fill in the rest of the cells with the names, I can just press escape. But if I do, I press enter. Now, sometimes when you do this, so I'll type Susan Wise again and then type the M of Melissa, it doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because there needs to be an option switched on. Let me show you where that option is. We need to go to File and then Options, Advanced, and make sure there's a tick in the box that says Automatically Flash Fill and click OK. So now if I type Susan Wise and then the M of Melissa, it generates the values and I can just press enter. There are other ways to do flash fill and these work even if the automatically flash fill box is not ticked. So I've typed Susan Wise into D2. I'll go to the home tab on the ribbon, click on fill over towards the right and click on flash fill. And it does exactly the same, but this time it doesn't put the items in light grey first. You'll notice that it doesn't create any formulas. So if the data in columns B or C changes, it won't automatically update the contents of column D. What you'd have to do is repeat the flash fill command and overwrite the existing data or use a formula or power query instead of flash fill. But to manipulate data in a one-off situation, flash fill is a great feature. Now with this next example, I want to create email addresses from the names. And the email addresses will be in the format firstname.surname at company.com. Yes, I know in the real world we might have more than one person with the same name, but this is just a demo. So I'll type susan.wise at company. Dot com. And this time, instead of going up to fill and flash fill, I'll use a keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut is control and E. For the next example, I need to extract the street name from each record and store it in column G. So I'll go to G2 and type Marcus Street, enter, and then control and E. Now for the next example, I need to apply some formatting to the telephone number. I want to have brackets around the first three characters and a couple of dashes. But I don't actually want to permanently store that in column H. I want to overwrite the existing phone numbers with the same phone numbers, but a different format. And Flash Fill will help me do this. So I'll go to H2 and put open brackets. 256 close brackets dash 645 dash 7259, which is the contents of D2 with some formatting. Enter that in and press Control and E. And then I can just select the phone numbers in column H and cut and paste into column D. For the final example, I'll show you how you can use Flash Fill to convert dates. Now, the dates in column E 
aren't real dates. Yes, they look like dates, but they are in fact text entries. How do I know that? Well, first of all, if I select one of the cells containing a date and click on the drop down arrow in the number section on the ribbon, all the examples that you see under each format are the same. If what was in E2 was a real date, I would have expected to see the 17th of August 1994 underneath long date. Also, if you look in the formula bar, there's an apostrophe to the left of the date, and this indicates the cell contains text. Why has this happened? Well, it's unlikely somebody's typed the dates in in this format. It's more likely the date has been imported into Excel from another system, an HR system, for example. And that's one of the side effects of importing data into Excel. Sometimes things get mistranslated along the way. Anyway, there's a quick way to resolve the problem using flash fill. I'll go over to H2 and I'll type in 17 slash 08 slash 1994 and press enter. And what I've basically done is put the date version of what's in E2. So if I now flash fill, it creates proper dates, which I can select and cut and paste over the top of the dates in column E. And what we now have in column E is proper dates. Now, before I wrap up, one question that often comes to mind when I demo flash fill is what if there's similar data in multiple columns? How does Excel handle that? Here, I need to extract the telephone area code from each telephone number. In this example, it's the first three digits. So I'll type 256 into E2 and then flash fill. First of all, as you probably gathered from the other demos, flash fill only works by looking at data to the left. It won't work if there's any blank columns between the column to be filled and the data to be used. And what it's done here is it's picked up the numeric part of the address because for row two, that contains 256 and flash fill works from left to right. So it fills based on the first matching value it's found. So what I'll do is I'll do an undo and then I'll go down to E3 and type 908 and then flash fill. So sometimes you have to provide two, maybe even three examples before Excel can work out what you want it to do. If you found this video useful, please give it a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. I also have a free weekly newsletter packed with tips to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up to that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day. Thank <laughs> you.